Carl, am I a good boss? Well, of course, sir. And you're a loyal assistant, correct? Yes, sir. Is there anything I can do for you? Everything. I want you to do everything and anything in your little insignificant power to stop that cock-sucking motherfucking brat. Oh, and her shitty janitor friend, whatever. ASAP, Carl! Like, I want you to do it right now! I'm your good little servant, sir. Okay, you ready for this? I mean, shit, I only got fired for it. Hit me. Ghost talk show. What? Okay, so ever since my grandpa died, I've been able to hear his voice, you know, saying things like, Meg, open your third eye and do harder drugs and make your mark on this world. And he also talks about his sexual exploits. And I must say, for an 80s talk show host, he is quite progressive. But then again, that might have been the cocaine. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'm completely serious. Yeah, anyone and everyone who walks his way, he was ready to slide no, in there. No, 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 Alan, no. I mean, this, your ghost talk show. I mean, you're, you're being serious. Like you're being for real. Well, of course I That's am. your for real idea. Of course You're I being am. for real. Well, of course I am. That's what's in here. <sighs> Look, I, I huff glue, I smoke crack, I clean shit, I, I mean, I used to clean shit. And this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I mean, a ghost talk show? You hear anyone else in there? Long Island Medium? Well, I was gonna ask my grandpa to interview his friends. How? Not, I'm not too familiar with how ghost communication works, but I assume it's not like a goddamn telephone. Well, Jay, I don't know what you want me to do then. <sighs> All right. I gotta go. I'm out of here. I can't put up with this shit. I, I, I'm leaving. Gotcha. Hadn't seen you around the park. I thought something might have happened to you. Okay. Uh, uh, that's good. Uh, Dad, I, I... I got fired from the station earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> the station? Oh, you mean Che Gallatin's fun house of shit? Well, good for you, pal. Good for me? Are you, are you serious right now? I, I tarnished our family's legacy. I mean, you and mom named me Jander, and now I don't even have that. Stop with the legacy crap, okay? Hey, do you remember my story of the shitpocalypse? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's the only thing that made me want to be a Jander. Jesus, I was so bad a father. Well, that wasn't really, that wasn't the point of that particular bedtime story, kiddo. See, after the shitpocalypse, I vowed that if the chili girl's contract was up, if she left, then so did I. I figured I was a little tired of shit. And then I had you. And then you gave my life just a little bit of purpose. Yeah, you got a funny way of showing that, Dad, seeing as we're at a playground about to smoke crack. I mean, what kind of purpose is that? Uh, uh, this is PCP, actually. But that's, that's the point. Um, sorry, that I, what, what I'm trying to say, son, is that I know that I was a bad father, okay, a lousy one even. But when I walked out of that mold hole with that last bowl, I knew that there was something more, okay? And I knew that Chegg Allen and Shit Station didn't deserve our family. So I say again, you're free now. Good for you. Hey, 
Okay, think, all John. Think. You got this. You got this. Oh my God, you were so fucking useless. Jay. Okay, very funny. You can stop now. Jay. Meg, my beautiful girl, you look as if you've seen a ghost. Very funny, Grandpa. Your fucking light show almost gave me a heart attack. Don't talk to me about heart attacks, sister. I snorted a lot of God's piss with Larry King and David Bowie right before I got here. My heart chakra is fucking zooming! Well, I'm glad heaven is such a riot. Down here sucks monkey balls. Yeah, you're uh, still a piece of shit, Dad. But, uh, thanks for that. Anytime, pal. I... I love... Eh, uh, we're not... We're not there yet. But, uh... I'll see you around. Uh, hey, by the way, uh... Take some of this. It'll, uh, open you up a little bit more. Have you experimented with any mescaline? Nah, the only thing I've tried is huffing glue, and that just made my brain feel like beef stroganoff. No, not downers, Meg! You need uppers! You've got to get lost in the sauce, Meg! You must open your third eye! Yeah, my third eye, right. Hello. What? I'll take some of your finest crack, please. Are you a fucking cop? What? No, I'll have you know, good sir, that I am assistant and best friend and star-crossed lovers to the best goddamn boss in this here planet, and he wants some of your crack. Are you sure you're not a cop? Yeah, all cops are bastards, right? <coughs> all right. My man. All right, here. Let me give you a little bit of this. <laughs> Take some of that. <laughs> How much will this run me up? Do you take checks? Oh my god, I don't have time for this. You're more useless than the fucking janitor. Uh, uh, Meg, I, I, I know that uh, I said your idea was ridiculous. I mean, it is pretty shit, but you know what? I'm in! Also, who's the old dude? Wait, what? I said I'm in, dude! Let's go sit up! No, no, about the old dude. Who are you talking about? Dude, his old dude. Gray hair and beard and suit. You know, it's funny, he actually kind of looks like... Meg, pipe now. Fuck it. <laughs> Your third eye, Meg! Holy shit! I'm alive! I need some Valium! I need a dime bag of Wiffle Dust! And I need... The best goddamn whores New York has to offer! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, baby! Oh, it's check time! Oh, oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking it's check time. Is Audrey Hepburn still around? Is that a thing? Is that a thing I can, I can hit? Is it, is, is she?